I want to close with a prayer by Michel Quist, the French mystic. I want you to give me your undivided attention. It's a powerful prayer. I have fallen, Lord, once more. I cannot go on. I will never succeed. I'm ashamed and I don't dare look at you, Lord. In it I've struggled, for I knew you were right near me, bending over me, watching. But temptation blew in like a hurricane, and instead of looking at you, I turned my head away. I stepped aside while you stood silent and sorrowful, like the spurned fiancé who sees his loved one carried off by his rival. When the wind died down as suddenly as it had arisen, when the lightning ceased after proudly streaking the darkness, all of a sudden, Lord, I found myself alone, ashamed, disgusted, with my sin in my hands. This sin that I selected as a customer selects his purchase. This sin that I've paid for but cannot return because the storekeeper is no longer there. This tasteless sin, this odious sin, this sin that now sickens me, that I once wanted but I want no more. Lord, I imagined, sought, played with, fondled for a long time. And I finally embraced while coldly bypassing you. I embraced that sin. My arms outstretched, my eyes and heart irresistibly drawn. This sin that I've grasped and consumed with gluttony, it's mine now, but it possesses me as the spider web holds captive the fly. It's mine, sticks to me, flows in my veins, fills my heart. It has slipped in everywhere as darkness slips into the forest at dusk and fills all the patches of light. I cannot get rid of it. I run from it like the master of an unwanted and mangy dog, but it catches up with me and rubs joyfully against my legs. Everyone must notice it. I'm so ashamed, Lord, that I feel like crawling to avoid being seen. I'm ashamed of being seen by my friends. I'm ashamed of being seen by you, Lord, because you loved me, but I forgot you. I forgot you because I was thinking only of myself, and one can't think of several persons at once. One must choose, and I chose. But now your voice, your look, your love, they hurt me, they weigh me down. They weigh me down more than my sin. Lord, please don't look at me like that because I'm naked and dirty, down and shattered with no strength left. I dare make no more promises to you. I can only stand bowed before you. Come on, son, look up. Isn't it mainly your vanity that is wounded? If you loved me, you would grieve, but you would trust me. Do you think that there's a limit to my love for you? Do you think for a moment I have stopped loving you, but you still rely on yourself, son? You must rely on me. Ask my pardon and get up quickly. You see, it's not falling that is the worst, but staying on the ground. If you've fallen and you're sitting here saying, Ravi, that's me. I've stumbled, I've embraced sin in a way I never dreamed of doing it. And like that unwanted and mangy dog, it rubs up against my legs, it fills in my heart like darkness fills the patches of night, light at dusk. If you've got that reality in your mind, God's telling you to get up. You know what's even better? He gets you up. He gives you that energy, just like Ezekiel, son of man, stand up and the Spirit of God entered into me and stood me up. God will give you that. You could be a man or woman of God as he has designed you to be if you will only trust him and believe that he wants to make your life the best for which he intended. As you begin this new year, why not make a new start? And I'm going to pray with you.